Now, your KSBW weather forecast with meteorologist Gina DeVecchio. As we're heading into the end of October, it sure was feeling fall-like up in the Santa Cruz Mountains. Take a look at these temperatures, 67 in Ben Lomond, so a cool one there, 72 in Boulder Creek. But you know what? Those aren't going to last for long. We have another warm-up coming just in time to finish out the month and welcome November with some heat. Here you can see earlier today, 73 for Santa Cruz as well as Capitola, Aptos, 72 and inland. Temperatures only got to 73 in Gilroy. That tends to be our warmer areas. And today, only those low 70s. 75 for Aromas, as well as San Juan Bautista, and 65 for Moss Landing, 70 Salinas, and there you can see some mid-70s for the Salinas Valley, but you're also going to be warming over the next few days. Now you can see on the peninsula, a cool one in Monterey at 64, 78 for Big Sur, so a nice one there. We did have a mix of sun and clouds, clouds earlier in the day, and then a little more sunshine by later, and now you're seeing a crystal clear night as the sun goes down. The view from Salinas Valley Memorial, quite nice with little hues of orange and yellow out and lots of blue, but that's going to move out and we are going to start to see the dark nights and cool conditions. Temperature right now 64. Winds coming in from the west at 13 miles per hour. So winds are going to be a big roll over the next couple of days. In fact, there's a red flag warning, not necessarily for our area, but I'd still be advised to watch any sort of flame in the next couple of days in the Santa Cruz Mountains or even our entire area. But there is a red flag warning for the Diablo Range all the way up to Mount Diablo in the East Bay Hills and then also in the Central Valley all the way up into parts of the Sierra Nevada up to Redding as well. So this is through Wednesday morning. That's when we're expecting very dry conditions, very gusty conditions as well. Beginning as early as tonight, we could see some very gusty conditions up in the mountains with gusts around 30 or greater miles per hour. And tonight, red flag warnings and then warmer temperatures come for the middle to end of the week. So even though it may not be as gusty, it is going to start to get warmer. Winds right now coming in from the north around 15 miles per hour in many locations, calming down a bit near the coast. But look at that 19 mile per hour wind gusts earlier today in Monterey. So sure was a breezy, gusty one. 38 mile per hour gusts in San Francisco. Also very dry. 33 relative humidity at Watsonville, that is very dry for areas part close to the coast. So we are going to be concerned with that here locally as well as around the state. 26% relative humidity in Redding. So again, those are the areas of concern. Oh, it is a little bit cooler now because of this front that came through, but that's also what's increasing our winds. But temperatures for tomorrow, 70s for the Central Valley. So not too warm, not too cool, but the warm up does return for Wednesday. Here you can see what's going on. Upper air temperatures, although blue in place for today and then tomorrow starts to get replaced by the warmer temperatures in the green and then 70 degrees in the upper atmosphere. It's going to be reflected to the surface for Wednesday and Thursday so you can really see that warm up coming our way. And looks like we are going to stay warm for the end of the week. Forecast for tonight, it is going to be a little chilly. Temperatures last night got into the mid 40s in some spots. Tonight, I do expect some low 40s for some of those cooler areas like the mountains and the valleys. Then you also see those wind gusts possible around 30 or greater miles per hour and also gusty near the coast. Coastal conditions near 50 degrees for Santa Cruz down to Monterey. Santa Cruz Mountains, some mid, maybe low 40s. For tomorrow, mid 60s to mid 70s, similar to today near the coast into Salinas, a sunny day and a gusty afternoon. And then tomorrow for the mountains and valleys, slightly warmer. So as I mentioned in Gilroy, you were in the low 70s for today. Tomorrow I expect more near 80 degrees. Taking a look on the map, you can see those mid to upper 60s for the peninsula. And then you can see 70s for some of our coastal areas like Santa Cruz to Aptos and then Gilroy, Hollister, down to King City, those mid 70s. But the warm-up comes for your Halloween, and if you are planning anything outdoors or maybe planning your costume right now, looks like you're not going to need those sleeves or a jacket or an umbrella as temperatures are going to be warm into the 80s for the afternoon. And then you can see at sunset at 610 for that 6 o'clock hour, pretty pleasant, pretty mild, and temperatures are going to cool off, of course, but pretty comfortable. Now, Erin, as we go into November this week, a little bit of a change. we also change our eight-day forecast, so you've been getting used to our coastal and our inland temperatures, but now we're doing the high temperature range. So that bottom number is our cooler spots, like say around Monterey, Pacific Grove. The warmer spots are that top number, 80s for most of the week for our inland valleys. You also see on there the pumpkin for tomorrow, then change your clocks back. So much That's going right. on this week. <laughs> and now we start to talk about our overnight temperatures because even though we're not seeing freezes or frost this week, we know we can see that going into winter. So that's why we show you the low temperature range as well. All right. Yep. That happens this time of year. <laughs> it does. All right. Yes.